Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, everybody. We're not quite ready to play games yet, so I decided to read um, a little bit more from Black Shirts and Reds. Uh, and this is Chapter 5, Stalin's Fingers. <clears throat> so if you don't want to read uh, or listen to me read Michael Parenti, uh, just hang around for a little bit or just have my Twitch in the background and probably in 30 minutes or so we'll start playing uh, Belheim. But let's get started. So chapter 5, Stalin's Fingers. In 1989 to 1991, remarkable transformations swept across Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union. Communist governments were overthrown, large portions of their publicly owned economies were dismantled and handed over to private owners at garage sale prices. 
and one-party rule was replaced by multi-party parliamentary systems. For Western leaders who had tirelessly pursued the rollback of communism, it was a dream come true. If the overthrow of communism were a victory for democracy, as some claimed, it was even more of a victory for free market capitalism and conservative anti-communism. Some of the credit would go to the CIA and other Cold War agencies, along with the National Endowment for Democracy, the AFL-CIO, the Ford Foundation, the Rockefeller Brothers, the Pew Charitable Trust, and various right-wing groups, all of whom funded free market anti-communist political organizations and publications throughout Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union, in what swiftly became the best finance chain of revolutions in history. That peoples occurred with remarkably little violence. As Lech Walisa posted in November 1989, Polish solidarity overthrew the communist government without breaking a single window. This says as much about the government as uh, that was overthrown as about the rebels. Rather than acting as might U.S. supported rulers in El Salvador, Colombia, Zaire, or in Indonesia, with death squad terrorism and mass, re- mass repression, the communists relinquished power almost without firing a shot. The relatively peaceful transition does not fit our image of unscrupulous totalitarians who stop at nothing to maintain power over captive populations. Why didn't the ruthless Reds act more ruthlessly? <clears throat> we have heard much about the ruthless Reds, beginning with the reign of terror and repression perpetuated during the dictatorship of Joseph Stalin, estimates of those who perished under Stalin's rule, based principally on speculations by writers who never reveal how they re- re- arrive at such figures, very wildly. Thus, Roy Mendeviv puts Stalin's victims at 5 to 7 million, Robert Conquest decided on 7 to 8 million, Olga Shantanovsky claims 19.8 million just for the 1935-40 period. Stephen Cohen says 9 million by 1939, with 3 million executed or dying from mistreatment during the 1936-39 through 39 period, and Arthur Kostler tells us it was 20 to 25 million. More recently, as William Rusher of the Claremont Institute refers to the 100 million people wantonly murdered by communist dictators since the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917, and Richard Louis blames the Stalin era for the slaughter of millions. Unburdened by any documentation, these estimates provide us, invite us to conclude that the sum total of people incarcerated in the labor camps over a 22-year period would have, uh, allowing for turnovers due to death and term expiration, would have constituted an astonishing portion of Soviet population. The support and supervision of the Gulag, all labor camps, labor colonies, and prisons of the Soviet system, would have been USSR's single largest enterprise. In the absence of reliable evidence, we are fed anecdotes such as the story of Winston Churchill tells the time he asked Stalin how many people died in the famine. According to Churchill, the Soviet leader responded by raising both his hands, a gesture that may have signified an unwillingness to broach the subject. But since Stalin happened to have five fingers on each hand, Churchill concluded, without benefit of clarifying follow-up question, that Stalin was confessing to 10 million victims. Would the head of one state, especially the secret of Stalin, casually proffer such an admission to the head of another? To this day, Western writers treat this woolly tale as an ironclad confession of mass atrocities. What we do know of Stalin's purges is that many victims were Communist Party officials, managers, military officers, and other strategically situated individuals who the dictator saw fit to incarcerate or liquidate. In addition, whole categories of people whom Stalin considered of unreliable loyalty, the Cossacks, Crimean Tartars, and the ethnic Germans, were selected for internal de- deportation, internal deportation. Though they never saw the inside of a prison or labor camp, they were subjected to non custodial resettlement in Central Asia. To be sure, crimes of the state were committed in, in communist countries, and many political prisoners were unjustly interned and even murdered. But the inflated numbers offered by Cold World scholars serve neither historical truth nor the cause of injustice, but near, merely help to reinforce a knee-jerk fear and loathing of those terrible things. 
1993, for the first time, several historians gained access to previously secret Soviet police archives and were able to establish well-documented estimates of prison and labor camp populations. They found that the total population of the entire Gulag as of January 1939, near the end of the Great Purges, was 22,022,976. Million, uh, 2 million At about that time, there began a purge of purgers, including many intelligence and secret police and KVD officials and members of the judiciary and other investigative committees who were suddenly held responsible for the excesses of terror despite the protestations of fidelity to the regime. Soviet labor camps were not death camps like those of the Nazis built across Europe. There was no systemic, systematic extermination of inmates, no gas chambers or crematoria to dispose of millions of bodies. Despite harsh conditions, the great majority of Gulag and inmates survived and eventually returned to society when granted amnesty or when their terms were finished. In any given year, 20 to 40 percent of the inmates were released according to archive records. The oblivious to these facts, the Moscow correspondent of the New York Times continues to describe the gulags as the largest system of death camps in modern history. Almost a million gulag prisoners were released during World War II to serve in the military. The archives reveal that more than half of all Gulag deaths for the 1934-53 through 53 period occurred during the war years, 1941-45, through 45, mostly from malnutrition when severe private private privation was the common lot of the entire Soviet population. Some 22 million Soviet citizens perished in the war. In 1944, for instance, the labor camp de death rate was 92 per 1,000. By 1953, the post-war recovery, camp deaths had declined to 3 per 1,000. Should all Gulag inmates be considered in innocent victims of red repression? Contrary to what has been led to believe, those arrested for political crimes count revolutionary offenses. Number between 12 and 33 percent of, of the prison population varying from year to year. The vast majority of inmates were charged with non-political offenses such as murder, assault, theft, banditry, smuggling, swindling, and other violations punishable in any society. Total executions from 1921 through 1953, a 33-year span inclusive, were 799,455. No breakdown of this figure was provided by the researchers. It includes those who were guilty of non-political capital crimes, as well as those who collaborated in the Western capitalist invasion and subsequent, subsequent White Guard Army atrocities. It also includes some of the considerable numbers who collaborated with the Nazis during World War II and probably German SS prisoners. In any case, the killings of political opponents were not in the millions or tens of them. Which is not to say that the actual number was either inconsequential or justifiable. The three historians who studied the her heretofore secret gulag records concluded that the numbers of victims were far less usually claimed than the West. This finding was ridiculed by anti-communist liberal Adam Hochschild, who refers to the repeat Churchill story about Stalin's fingers. Like many others, Hochschild had no trouble accepting undocumented speculations about the gulag but much difficulty accepting the documented figures drawn by the NKVD army. Where did the Gulag go? Some Russian anti-communist writers such as Chulzhensen and Sakharov and many U.S. anti-communist liberals maintain that the Gulag existed right down to the last days of communism. If so, where did it disappear to? After Stalin's death in 1953, more than half of the Gulag inmates were freed according to the study with the NKVD files previously cited. But if so many others remained incarcerated, why have they not materialized? When the communist states were overthrown, where were the half-starred hordes of pouring out the internment camps with their tales of travail? One of the last remaining Soviet labor camps, Perm 35, was visited in 1989 by Republican con congressmen and again in 1990 by fresh French journalists. Both parties found only a few dozen prisoners, some of whom were identified as outright spies. Other 
Others were refuseniks who had been denied the right to immigrate. Prisoners worked eight hours a day, six days a week, for 250 rubles, $40 a month. What the supposedly fast numbers of political prisoners said to exist in the other communist totalitarian police states of Eastern Europe, why no evidence of their mass release in the post-communist era? And where are the mass of political prisoners in Cuba? Asked about this, Professor Alberto Prieto of the University of Havana pointed out that even a decent State Department reported on human rights showed hundreds of people being tortured, killed, or disappeared in almost all Latin American countries, but mentions only six lead political prisoners in reference to Cuba. If there are mass atrocities down, right down to the last days of communism, why did not the newly installed anti-communist regimes seize the opportunity to bring erstwhile communist rulers to justice? Why no Nuremberg-style public trials documenting widespread atrocities? Why were there not hundreds of party leaders and security officials and thousands of camp guards rounded up and tried for millions they supposedly exterminated? By best the West uh, Germans could do was charge East German leader Eric Honecker, several other officials, and seven border guards with the shooting people who tried to escape over the Berlin Wall, a serious charge but hardly indicated that the gulag. Authorities in the Western Capitalist Federal Republic of Germany did contrive a charge of treason against people who served as officials, military officers, soldiers, judges, attorneys, and other others of the now defunct German Democratic Republic, a sovereign nation that once had full standing in the United States nations, and almost of whose citizens have never been subjects of the FRG. As of 1996, more than 300 treason cases have been brought to trial, including a former GDR intelligence chief, a defense minister, <clears throat> and six generals, all indicated for carrying out what were their legal duties under the Constitution and laws of the GDR. In some instances, fighting fascism and CIA sabotage. Many of the defendants were eventually acquitted, but a number were sentenced to prison. But when is what we witness here is the Nuremberg trials in reverse. Reds put on trial for their anti-fascist efforts by West German friendly to fascism prosecutors using a retroactive application of FRG penal law and GDR citizens. As of the beginning of 1997, several thousand more trials, trials were expected. In 1995, Miroslav Stefan the former secretary of the Prague Communist Party, was sentenced to two and a half years for ordering Czech police to use tear gas and water cannons against demonstrators in 1988. Is this the best example of bloodthirsty red oppression that the capitalist rest restorationists in Czechoslovakia would find? An action that does not even qualify as a crime in most Western nations, including America? In 1996 in Poland, 12 er elderly Stalin area era political policemen were sentenced to prison for having beaten and mistreated prisoners over 50 years earlier during the communist takeover after world war ii again one might wonder why post-communist leaders seek to bring the communist tyrants to justice yet find nothing more serious to prosecute than a police assault case from half a century before most of those incarcerated in the gulag were not political prisoners and the same appears to be true of inmates in other communist states. In 1989, when the millionaire play, uh, playwright Václav Havel became president of Czechoslovakia, he granted amnesty to about two-thirds of the country's prison population, which numbered not in the millions, but in the thousands. Havel assumed that most of these incarcerated under communism were victims of political repression and therefore deserved release. He and his associates were dismayed to discover, to discover what a good number were experienced criminals who lost no time in resuming their unsafe pursuits. Memories of Maldevelopment In Chapter 2, I, discuss, I discussed the role of popular revolution in advancing the condition of humankind. That analysis would apply as well to communist revolutions and is worth reiterating in the present context. 
We hear a great deal about the crimes of communism, but almost nothing about its achievements. The communist governments inherited societies burdened by an age-old legacy of economic exploitation and maldevelopment. Much of the pre-communist Eastern Europe, as with pre-revolutionary Russia and China, was in effect a third world region with, with, ride, with widespread po poverty and almost non-existent capital formation. Most rural transportation was still by horse and wagon. The devastation of World War II added another heavy layer of misery upon the region, reducing hundreds of villages and many cities to rubble. It was the communists and their allies who rebuilt these societies. All denounced in the U.S. press for in the U.S. press for leaving their economies in bad shape. In fact, the Reds left the economy of Eastern Europe in far better condition than they found it. The same was true of China. Henry Rosamund Jr. notes that when the communists liberated Shanghai from U.S.-supported revolutionary Kuomintang Kuomintang regime in 1949, about 20% of that city's population, an estimated 1.2 million, were drug addicts. Every morning there were special street crews whose sole task was to gather up the corpses of children, adults, and elderly who had been murdered during the night or had been abandoned and died of disease, cold, and or starvation. During the years of Stalin's re reign, the Soviet nation made dramatic gains in literacy, industrial wages, health care, and women's rights. These accomplishments usually go unmentioned when the Stalinist era is discussed. To say that st socialism doesn't work is to overlook the fact that it did. In Eastern Europe, Russia, China, Mongolia, North Korea, and Cuba, revolutionary communism created a life for the mass of people that was far better than the wretched existence they had endured under feudal lords, military bosses, foreign coloni colonizers, and western capitalists. The end result was dramatic improvement in living conditions for hundreds of millions of people on a scale never before or since witnessed in history. State socialism transformed desperately poor countries into modernized societies in which everyone had enough food, clothing, and shelter, where elderly people had secure pensions and were all children and where all children and many adults went to school and no one has denied medical attention. Most of these from poor families who carry around the hidden injuries of class are much impressed by these achievements and are unwilling to dismiss them as merely economistic. But what are the democratic rights that these peoples were denied? In fact, with the exception of Czechoslovakia, these countries had known little political dem democracy in the days before communism. Russia was a czarist autocracy. Poland was a rightist dictatorship with concentration camps of, of its own. Albania is an, an Italian fascist pro protectorate as early as 1927. Cuba, a U.S.-sponsored dictatorship. Lithuania, Hungary, R Romania, and Bulgaria were outright fascist regimes allied with Nazi Germany in World War II. Then there was the distorting effects that unremitting unremitting capitalist encirclement had upon the building of socialism. Throughout its entire 73-year history of counter-revolutionary invasion, civil war, forced industrialization, Stalinist purges and deportations, Nazi conquest, Cold War, and nuclear arms race, the Soviet Union did not know one day of peaceful development. In the attempt to maintain military parity with the United States, the Soviets took on crushing defense costs that seriously depleted their civilian economy. In addition, they faced monetary bo boycott, trade discrimination, and technological embargo from the West. The people who lived under communism endured chronic shortages, long lines, poor quality goods and services, and many other problems. They wanted a better life, and who could blame them? Without capitalist encirclement, they would have better chance of solving more of the internal problems. All this is not to deny real deficiencies of the communist systems. Here I want to point out that much of the credit goes for the deformation and overthrow of communism should go to the Western forces that tirelessly de decided, dedicated themselves to that task, including every possible means of political, economic, military, and diplomatic aggression to achieve a success that will continue to cost the people of the world here.
And that is chapter five. <clears throat> so, I am ready to play, but no one is on yet. I'm going to take a little bit of a break and I'll be back.
Okay, everybody. I'm back. I need to load my phone. So we're starting a new server. Hello, hello. Hold on. You refuse? Let me change the settings on my... Did I do that? Make the S sound. I keep putting my headphones on backwards. Let me change the output. To no, I don't think so. Talk again? Okay, I... How do I sound? Okay, good. Because it's a. I can't see it on the. Is it under the community tab? There it goes. I know, I know, but I was looking at it and I didn't see it. Okay. Give me a second so I can change my Twitch thing. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Do you think we'll play uh, uh, Bourbon Tide later? I like it. I feel like I, as far as a fighting game goes, it feels like I can actually do it. So should I go to Vic's world then and load up?
Yeah, our other world was really pretty. And we did so much. Can you transfer the, like, lead and stuff? Not lead, but the... That's cool. Okay. Let's see what I can... Nice. I could do that, but most likely I won't because I like to play with friends. Need more blood. I think I'll take the blood bags. Yeah. Yeah. To leave the mushroom too. There's not enough. He did. Yeah. Oh. Nice. I don't need one. Well, I do want the spear. Okay. Pink frames. Okay, so since I am full, I guess I'll just log out and then go to the other world. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice looking dagger. logging it
Still not showing up. Oh, because you don't have yours. Well, it still didn't pull up. Okay. Uh, it hasn't been years. I don't think. Oh, yeah. It just keeps going faster the older you get. We've only done two on this server, two uh, bad guys. Okay, is is where you're where are you at? Um, okay, is it set settings? Yeah. Disturb him. Oh my god, it's so laggy. It could be my on my end. I'm not even playing it though. Okay. Because usually I like to play music while I'm playing, but. If it's going to take some bandwidth. I really do need... Like... Yeah. Like next week... Or... Yeah, when I get paid. I'm definitely going to get that uh, Ethernet cable. If anything else. And if you would want to come over and help me like staple it around so it will reach... I mean, you're, you're short, but it might, I don't know if I want to run it on the ground or like, like, wait, right now? I 
need like a third monitor just so I can have OBS on it. Yeah, so it'll, it'll uh, you have to have it as a um, plug-in, but yeah. On the, on the mini map. East. Seeing the ocean. Oh, is this our first base? Oh, I miss our bay. Is there a portal? A portal to the new base? so much I can't believe we actually like secured a a, a a whatever it's called a cave yeah a little thing let me see if I'm going the right area oh we do need that cartography table oh you're so cool okay not this portal did all this. Yes. Oh yeah, in that third room? Yeah. Comfort level 10, baby. What is a pig doing in here? There's a pig. Emma! Uh. Oh my god. Uh.
Okay. I need to do something to my settings because it this is not playable. What is anti-aliasing? What about chromatic aberration? Figure something out because it's still. It could be that I was running uh, my uh, stream in the background. Yeah, it looks a lot better now. Hold on. I need to put my stuff up. They're hungry.
Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, so much fishing bait. Oh, we don't- we can fish. Yeah, I, I've seen it. I remember. And you said we needed to bring our bees over. Yeah, I did. I petted all the piggies. Yeah. Mushrooms. I'm cooking food right now.
I didn't put a rock in there. I didn't put rocks in there. <laughs> That's awesome. a lot of areas. Oh yeah, that makes sense. What voice acting? Really does. Oh, yeah. She, yeah, she gets revenue. Uh, it's her IP. Um, you know, she developed the world. So, she has a lot to do with it. not entirely sure but it really doesn't matter because her royalties are directly going towards uh, removing rights for trans people
Yeah. So plant them again for our seeds. Do I have a cold berries? I'm turning them into seeds. And make more carrot seeds. Oh, okay. I don't think we have any seeds. If you want to put more bees, but I think we have plenty of bees. plant the rest of these carrots. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let me uh, fill up on my uh, HP first. Yeah, I already ate. I already have food. No, I just brought what I made. So it's 10 minutes. Oh, that's nice. Do we want to go somewhere with frost? I don't think we saw a mountain area last time I remember. some mushrooms out here. Well, you can go do that. I'll gather these mushrooms and feed the pigs. Why am I not picking them up? Oh, 
Yeah, I, I remember that. Let me throw the turn it, the mushrooms out. Yeah, I just threw the lot on them. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe. You stole my pickaxe again. Or you never gave it back. Let's do an iron one. She does not care about trans people. She actively hates them. So there's really nothing to do. get rid of all this coal. Let me just throw it. No, it's, I'm just throwing it right here. I can't move along around long enough. I don't know. I think I picked it up. Who's watching the game? Sounds like it. Oh, I have plenty of room and plenty of uh, weight to carry. Oh. 
I just love our base. And then you get to see, uh, what is it, a, a grazzle? Yes, I do. I do. Well, I have fish and uh, neck tails. I'll just put it in. I have jerky. I need, um, yeah, I need some sausages. I have plenty. I have four. So what should I use for our adventuring as far as weapons go? So should I wear better armor then? It sees you. Do you have the server in a in Central Texas? I think the closest is Dallas. You're stronger.
Come here. Oh, shit. There's too many saplings around. <laughs> Too many saplings. You know, thank you for calling me beautiful. Yeah, we are. It's actually nighttime. Not cold. Oh, there's a skelly. I forgot what those green things on the trees mean. Some sort of stamina. I'm about to die. Oh shit. Get ah. Oh. It really was. And the heavy was not the way to go. Oh shit. We need a portal here at the. It wasn't even a... Well, there, a whole day hasn't even passed yet. I should have said it, but I didn't. Oh, I have a skelly after me. What?
Oh my god. There's like... Oh. Can't lay in it. No crafting station in here. I don't have a crafting station. I need to make my bed because it won't let me. It won't let me sit in it. And it won't let me destroy it. Are you there? I can't hear you. I can't make a crafting station. I, I literally can't. If you look at my stream, I literally can't.
because I thought it was just wood and stone, but it's not apparently. See, in it, I don't need to put it in the middle. It went. Mine literally wouldn't let me do that. Put the bed in there. I can't sleep. I haven't slept. Guess I need to eat before we go out there. Where's the food? Oh yeah, the food. When's the last time we played with Rothgar? I, I thought I saw some gear here. You know... Okay, well I'm on my way. There's a dropper. Eat the deer. I'm already at sixty one. There was a dropper. I'm good. I'm I just need to heal. Well, can you destroy the spawners first so I can get my gear back? Yeah. It's pretty far up there. It's up northeast. A little more north and east. Yes. Okay, I'm not I'm not getting in here. I'm getting out of there. I have no protection. Uh, straight north.
I mean, if I can live through the run, I'll try. Well, you can still stream on yours. I think it's just resistance. Yeah. Does that hurt them at all? Oh, did it get everything from the chest? Oh, I have a whole bunch of stuff. It's already getting dark too, so let's let me drop off everything and then come back. I have a whole bunch of food and So do you have enough to carry your own stuff? Looks like we have. I know we have a pile of stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, I need the cartography table.
No, I, you might be hearing me because I'm destroying a leech. No. Oh. Yeah, I can do that. Drop off coal? Come here, there are ones. Certainly in proof. Yeah, there wasn't any iron, so. Yeah, I just. Oh, I can't break through that. Oh, there's a sp skelly. They're pretty sneaky. Oh, did we destroy that spawner? Because they're all coming from that area. And here's a goose. I got it. Oh, I need... It's almost done. Okay, I need one. going in. Should I have my stack breaker? Oh, 
Oh, so we've done this, huh? It looks like we did. I have eight minutes. I'll be right here with the bow. How about that? side on him. Are you already fighting? That is barely hurting me. No, I, the stronger that came up at me. The club that doesn't bother him at all. They're very fast and sneaky. Like, we just dig a trench around it. That seems like worth doing. No, not. Yeah. 
Oh, do you have space for this turnip seed? I have a key. I know that we did do at least three dungeons uh, in the swamp. We might not have cleared all the iron. Like that's what I'm saying. Like we might not have finished all the iron in one room or something before we had to leave. I don't think you can go through that one. Like making that noise? What the fuck? Do you have the space for the thing? I'll just, how about you come back here and we follow with them right here. Oh, sorry. It was nice knowing you. Oh, this slime. Yeah. Yeah. There's chain in here. Let me get rid of this coal. Oh, do you want the cert link for so I have a space empty? Oh, tossed it up here. <laughs> okay. I just need space. That's all I need. That's cool. Okay, let me throw away some stuff. Or at least we can come back for it later. Oh, 
Oh, there's nothing after this. It's just a walled. Okay, there's a little bit of this left. Oh, there's a bone right here if you want a bone. Withered bone. This is all... Okay. We didn't finish this, did we? Oh, there's nothing left. There's another thing of iron. Oh, you're encumbered. You have too much. Yeah. Do you have any space at all? Like, slot? We can just head back. It's open. There's a ruby in there. Nice. Yeah, we have. There's like still a ruby in there and stuff, but uh, ninety two out of three hundred. I got way too much food, that's why. 
Well, I gathered mushrooms. And then there's deer meat. I have two. Well, I have a slot for iron. this yeah Yeah. And we're probably in daytime now. We've been building stuff on here. We've been through this one. Let me mark it on the map. Well, we brought carts. Maybe it's not. Oh, we haven't done this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me get out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have 40 seconds for my poison, so... What am I doing? Mace? I'm thinking stag breaker, because that's what gets droggers the most. Oh, sit under this so you can recover faster. Yes. I do not have any wood on me. Oh, let me put the bones in here. Yeah. Oh. 
That's really Another one. Oh, there's a whole bunch. You saw nothing. Oh shit. This is yeah, I have two more. Yeah. There you go. You gotta run out, I'm out for stamina. Oh, I'm trying to jump. I'm trying to jump. I won't. I can't. What the fuck? I didn't have any stamina either. Maybe that's why we put so much around that we kept dying. Okay, I'll make my way back. We left the door open, but Emma's still inside. It's all your fault, of course. Oh, let me go to the cartography table first. Or Move Emma, get out of the way. They're thinking about my life choices too. I'm trying to run through this Immediately, there's a skeleton and a dragger. Yeah, I already. Knew. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm figuring it out. Oh no!
There's a Draugr outside if you want to help with that. Got most of it. I think it did. Should I keep my bone shield? I think I'm going to just go in there with Stag Breaker. Oh, there's an elite. Oh my god. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was an elite. Yeah, let's build something out of there uh, before we go in. That way we can run in and out. I just died straight in. Rogers behind you. He's stuck in a tree. Oh. 
Huh. I don't have mine, but you you activated mine, so that's all. It just gives me five minutes of it. No. No. <laughs> there was a drug. Oh shit, that Draugr's right outside. Uh, I'm going back in. I'm going back in. Hold on, wait until I'm fully dressed. He's right here. He's walking in behind. No, that's an archer. There's a bone. One pathway at a time, right? Oh, there's nothing there. This doesn't lead to anywhere. Oh. So far I have six. Let's unload while we're here. Quit destroying our car, you dummy. Arr. Oops. We need to repair it.
shipping station needs a roof. I think This Wednesday, I have a date, so same person from last week. No, this one's not. I have. No, this is a different person entirely, like we just met last last Oh, I need to repair my pickaxe. <laughs> okay, let's get him away from the house. Hell yeah. Did you see how macho I was? Oh, there's a skelly. It was a good hit. Yeah.
Uh, I'm at 13 minutes for all of them. Should I go ahead and redo them or should I wait until they're done? That's what I was thinking. I don't have my hoe. Wait, I think I put a hoe in here. I did. I think it's night time because that's the new Yeah. I think one was chasing after me when I was running up here. Well, you might have been already inside the... Okay, do we want to... Leap, maybe? I'm pretty weak. We should have brought stone so we can... Oh, it's already daytime. I have two wood. Okay, here you go. Yeah. We should have brought rocks to raise the swamp. Yeah, because we're going to need a path to use the cart anyway. Like, what is he getting his rocks off or something?
Oh, there's a cart here too. What the heck? You did it to yourself. Are you inside the crypt? Okay. Already closed in the thing. There's so much. Oh shit, I am poisoned. Oh, never mind. I'm done. But we should run back. There goes me. It's broke. <laughs> you were riding on top of my shoulders for a second. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 don't bring it back. Uh, just... Um, I sort of want to level...
Why is he still with her though? That's he allows that. So I don't like him for that very reason. See, that's why I said wait until we have a path. And I only have 59 health right now. And I don't have the stamina for this. Some certainly cores are Oh shit. Oh he's coming at me. I might die. I don't have stamina. Will it follow me out of the swamp? Oh, uh, I don't have the HP for this. Yeah, we need to push that cart around because it's not going to work.
Yeah, that makes sense. Emma, what are you doing outside? So We did. I don't have any metal on me. Oh, let me plant these turnip seeds. I have an iron mace. No, I need an iron uh, pickaxe. Or an iron axe. that bronze you could do that I have a mace. Yeah, it's level one. Okay. Could be. Unless you want it really spicy.
I might say mace. Do we have a place for... Never mind. Oh, I think I did have a... Um, a... Uh, my brain farted. My brain is very gassy. Got some more healing potions. Is there a place to put bones? No. Oh. There's a lot of here. Did we get all the stuff from the cart? Oh no, we got someone just... Should be about time to go to sleep.
I like to smash. Probably not tonight. Maybe, yeah. I don't think we can do it by boat. Really, it could probably get us halfway there. Oh, do you have uh, healing potions? Should I start making more food? Well, I don't think I have any raw, any deer meat though. I have one. Aren't you fancy pantsy? Give me a spin. Very easy. No, should be. Is there another cat? Who? Oh, Grant? We made iron head arrows. I have some in my inventory. Maybe. No, I mean, it was in my personal box. That's what no, just 15. We should sleep.
dead. Being a goober. Who put? You didn't pick up your. Minor healing. He's well. You make more babies? Make babies? Dixie Grill.
but I can barely hear you. Yeah. A little bit better. No. Uh, a little worse. Shit. I heard a, a animal scream. I have the funnel here. This, this isn't a time to come. God, imagine if one of the abolitions come up here. Abomination. Abolition. Right. Potions, help us. I threw it out, he just didn't grab it. We have a boat over here. No, I thought you said it was like somewhere else.
What? What? Okay, let me take a break for a minute because my butt hurts. Yeah. Should we go to sleep first? I'm laying the bed. I will be back.
Hello. I am. <laughs> How do you know I was coming back? Mine? Uh -huh. You know, that does sort of. Oh, we need to load up the ship with food. My heartburn. You should, you should do that to make like an insanely one for uh, stamina. Right. But I'm ready to go. Wait, I have a ruby and a thing to put in. Putting what berries? Do they rot in the soil if uh, they go past ready? If they're too close. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm ready. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. 
true. <clears throat> Should I bring uh, uh, stones? Here you go. I can share. I'm still at 179, so. What about your health potions? Okay. <clears throat> I have two on me. Uh, who keeps cooking stuff and burning it? You. It's all your fault for burning this meat. <laughs> if you're, um, if you wanted me to do like all the axe smashing and stuff, like I'll probably need some heavier. Right. That's fine. I'm just saying, like, in the future, I probably need... Yeah. More iron. Yeah. Hold on, let me put the cultivator here just in case I die. Oh, I'm just putting the cultivator away just in case I die. I oh, know, that's what I'm saying. And my pickaxe. Or should I keep my pickaxe? Yeah. I have, oh, I really don't have a lot. Oh, I have a stack of a hundred fire arrows, so I can give you like the other stack. Yeah. Did he get it? Shit. Mm. If the crosshair is just on it. It's only wood and um, went and no, they're fire arrows. In the workbench. Two certainly cores, 20 fire, fine wood, and 10 gray uh, dwarf eyes. Burp. Are you letting me? 
doing? Are you not driving the boat? Oh, that's where you are. Yeah. <clears throat> This work with I love the sailing. It's so cool. I'm just gonna say some like nonsense shit commands like turn the po uh, port bow or <laughs> full throttle. <laughs> <laughs> Throttle my boot back. Okay, we made a gay in like five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Feel the burge in the port stone. <laughs> We're getting close to another uh, uh, swamp, so you might want to turn left a little. It is a swamp. Can I hold fast here? Here, fish. Okay, there's a... You might want to stop now. Oh, we can make an easy structure here. What? There's a rock on the right side. Uh, remembering our your old memories from. <laughs> Yeah, you need to pay attention. Oh, it's going to be a tight squeeze. Ah, turn left. No, you don't. We're like dragging. Faith is for fools.
that does seem like a pretty sizable um no that was like an island wasn't it a swamp island yeah <clears throat> Yeah. I mean, it'd be good even if it is just a continent on the way, because. What's Keystone? I see a little hole like in the blur. So that might be it. Starting to get choppy too. Right. No, it happened like three times. And I think we killed at least one of them. Yeah. I wonder if you can look up your uh, map and see if someone has already mapped it out. The, when you um, load up, it's like a random world, but it has a number or a, a name. Uh, because it's all RNG, right? And uh, you can look that map up, and sometimes people will have it out. Because you can look at Valheim on, on Reddit, and they'll say on this map, Seeding. Yes, yeah, seeds. Yeah. I was calling it just a map, like a... Like a server, almost. That's what I was... I'm a little high. Will it keep... Oh, shit. Ah, I should have sh waited until I could shoot it in the middle. <gasps> Was that me? I think he left us alone, so we're really near shore. No, you need a break now. The peach is Oh, we have a base here! We do. Okay, you're running, you're running into this Put it right on the beach. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, there's a thing behind you. Okay, well, let's get in here. Oh, did you already? Okay. I think I'm gonna head to bed. I have a certainly core. Not a certainly core, I have a great one. Hold on. Oh, should we make more fire arrows? Oh, you wanted us to go against bone mass right now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I need some food for the road. I do. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh wait, why are we using this uh, boat back? Take my boat. I don't see you. I don't know which portal it is. <laughs> Forward. Oh, directly in front of you. Turn right, turn right. I'm 
Doom Pope, though. Oh, that's what I should retitle my screen, folks, stuff. Rolling in the sea. There's a swamp up to our left. Wow. That was a big They're getting pretty close to the shore now. There's a little one where that path is. Yeah. Oh, there's a stone underneath it. Go reverse. Okay. The head of the boat is still on the rocks. <laughs> okay, now it's Oh, there's a troll with a club. Do my what thing? Do my what thing he said? No, he had one. Esports. Lots of hide. Do you want hide? <clears throat> I do. I do.
I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Okay. If we want to do that, do we want to just stop here and then uh, do Vermintide? Or are you done? On the stones? Like, you can't level stones. Oh. This might not be the greatest place. Sounds good. I didn't see that. Oh, my throat hurts. Yeah. 
I think you took a couple of my monsters. Uh <laughs> I'm okay. I think. Yeah, I might need to. Not entirely sure where you want to go. <clears throat> I thought you wanted to back it out. Do you see in the water where it separates? Yeah. <clears throat> so you know what area. It's coming in hot. Oh, what are you doing? Sorry, 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 sorry. I don't want to hit the boat. That's oh God.
I have three minutes on my food. I can't jump up on the other. Oh, yeah, let's go sleep first. I can't go in there. I don't have any pen. How can you go through and I can't? I am looking and I do not see anything. No, it says tag alpha connected. And it says set tag. There it goes. I had to press set tag. <clears throat> yeah. Wasn't there a point where we were just getting non-stop trolls? Or was that the other break? Actually, the frames are dropping. How about we restart the server? Oh yeah, let's heal. I need a crafting station out there. Yes, we did. Oh yeah, that's true.
Yeah. Want me to log out first? Well, if you want to go sleepy, since you're sleepy. Did you not sleep at all last night? afternoon the afternoon group oh yeah is it this one It might not be the middle. <clears throat> oh, it's dropping wood. I'm trying to gain my stamina back. Shoot. Get him away from the... I don't have any stamina. <laughs> I 
really is. If you, yeah, if you can guide it away. Oh, it's attacking the boat. Oh no. Oh no. He's like camping my spawn. Just trapping him in the tree. Fucking killed it! Oh, there's a Yeah, I see Root and Ancient Park. There's no like C. Yeah, no, it was my stamina. My stamina is so bad. Oh, he hit me. Oh, what weapon? It was the uh, war axe. The battle axe. Yeah. I got him on a, like a, a that whole three step. Um, that's right. Hold on. 
I have four. Check my cartography. What did I do? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, let me put stuff up. Oh. You've been taking some damage. Nope, no need. Okay, that's fine. That's what I was saying, I think it was dropping its own wood every time you damaged it. Like it might have had a chance to drop wood.
I know I don't have any. I hit them before they hit the ground, so... No, I haven't seen it. Trying to pave the way so it's easier. Yeah. There's a skelly behind you. Is this it? It is. I still have six minutes on my pet poison. What item? Cool. Cool little blob. Okay, that, that hurt. I should. You. I'm, I'm almost dead. Could be.
doing nothing. Lob. That hurt. Healing potion. Yeah. I was being stupid, too. He didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah, that seems a little... Uh, We need to make a bunch more carrot suits. Because that's the stamina one. Deer stew is for is for health. The black stew, I haven't tried that one yet. Are you still, uh, as long as you stay ahead of them, I guess. Poison potion. Oh no, no, I'm not bringing that. I'm, I'm just going to die again. And abomination and oh, and my frames are dropping. I'm just yeah.
Ew. I've heard of dick cheese, but not armpit cheese. Ew. Well, your mouth does strange things, so. I've literally been walking in a circle. What the fuck am I doing? Oh no, a raid. And I'm out of stamina. Yeah. It probably was. You think we can quit while we're and he'll like despawn or something? It could be. Yeah, we can do that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 